She sounds like she's dumping the blame on everybody except herself. Fam, it's Rachel and Ria, and we're the Gala sisters. We're actually Irish twins. Yeah, which means we're 15 months apart or less. There's an Amber Heard update, a big one. But before we get started, please make sure you are following us on the social media scrolling below, as well as link to the description box down below, where you will also find the Gala sisters' little brother's channel. He's also our best friend manager, and so many other things. We also built our own website where we have three different blogs, our bios, and an online store. Check that out at www.thegalasisters.com. And if you'd like to stay involved and informed for free, then click that big old subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. And with that, we'll, we'll take, take a look at the agreement that Amber Heard's people and Johnny Depp's people reached. So, Amber Heard... She gave us all a early Christmas present. Oh my God. She's like, I don't need the appeal. Yes. Go away, lady. Nobody fucking likes you. Thank you so much, Amber. And she almost kind of gave us an apology. Do you guys believe that she is remorseful? Because <laughs> I have my doubts because I know how bitches are. But you know what? Let's read it. Let's give her the benefit of a doubt. But before we read it, Hmm, what are the terms of their agreement, Ria? Well, she only owes Johnny Depp a million dollars. He doesn't owe her anything. And he's going to give it to charity, or is he going to pledge to give it to charity? <laughs> Remember that? I do. We're pledging now. Pledging is the same as giving. Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. I will never forget this fucking trial, ever. It was one of the most hilarious and god-awful things that I have ever watched in my entire life. I mean, we got the mega pint. We got the shit in the bed. We got the weird, weird-looking faces on trial. This was actually on... Like, this is a real case. I can't believe it got this far. This sounds like something out of, like... I don't even know. The Twilight Zone? I guess. I, I don't even know what to think still, and I've watched this entire thing from beginning to end, even long before this trial happened, and I couldn't believe that the courts were ruling against them to begin with. I mean, this is a problem here. This is why we talk about men's rights here, because men do not get the same rights as women, and it used to be flip-flopped. Also, maybe if Biden would put this in the Constitution, maybe that would change. Yeah, but you know what? That would require him to have a brain. Which he doesn't. And we don't like either party, so if you're here looking for us to be partisan, then you can go to a different channel. Sorry, not sorry. That's who we are. So let's read her half-assed apology, and maybe we're done with this? Okay, but this does not mean that her lawsuits, impending lawsuits from her insurance company, are gone. Those are still there. No, they're not going to go away. No, they're not. She still has to face the music on some level. And I know that a lot of us didn't think that Johnny Depp was in this for the money because he he doesn't need it. No. He was just trying to get her to shut up. It was so annoying. It's like in a Peanuts cartoon. Not even kidding. So she posted this on her Instagram account. It's an interesting choice, but you know what? That's what people do these days. After a great deal of deliberation, I have made a very difficult decision to settle the defamation case brought against me by my ex-husband in Virginia. She doesn't even name him. It's important for me to say that I never chose this. I defended my truth, and in doing so, my life as I knew it was destroyed. The vilification I face on social media is an amplified version of the ways in which women are re-victimized when they come forward. Now I finally have an opportunity to emancipate myself from something I attempted to leave over six years ago. And on terms I can agree to, I have made no admission. This is not an act of concession. There are no restrictions or gags with respect to my points moving forward. I make this decision having lost faith in the American legal system, where my unprotected testimony served as entertainment and social media fodder. When I stood before the judge in the UK, I was vindicated by a robust, impartial, and fair system where I was protected from having to give my worst moments of my testimony in front of the world's media and where the court 
found that I was subject to domestic and sexual violence. In the U.S., however, I exhausted almost all my resources in advance and um, in advance of in doing during a trial in which I was subject subjected to a courtroom in which abundant effective evidence that corroborated my testimony was excluded and which in popularity and power mattered more than the reason and due process in the interim i was exposed to types of human humilification that i simply cannot relive <laughs> even my u.s appeal is, even if my u.s appeal is successful the best outcome would be a retrial where a new jury would have to consider the evidence again i simply cannot go through it for a third time oh my god okay so um, there's more to it and we'll read it but holy shit she's just no accountability. No, she sounds like she's like, I don't know, telling the story of how she milked a cow. And she still has not admitted she did anything wrong. Is she stupid? Honey, you cut his finger, you shit in his bed, and you called test expert witnesses who only knew who Johnny Depp was from movies. And tried to diagnose him from those movies. And then, not only that, but you took your defense from movies. What are you, stupid? Oh, this makes me weep for mankind. Okay, I guess we might as well endure the rest of it since apparently this is what we've all had to go through. Time is precious and I want to spend my time productively and purposely. For too many years, I have been caged in an arduous and expensive legal process, which has shown itself unable to protect me and my right to free speech. I cannot afford to risk an impossible bill, one that is not just financial, but also psychological, physical, and emotional. Women shouldn't have to face abuse or bankruptcy for speaking her truth, but unfortunately, it is not uncommon. In settling this case, I'm also choosing the freedom to dedicate my time to the work that helped me heal after my divorce. Work that exists in realms in which I feel seen, heard, and believed, and which I know I can affect change. I will not be threatened, disheartened, or dissuaded by what happened from speaking the truth. No one can, and no one will take that from me. My voice forever remains the most valuable asset I have. Boy, her time is precious for her child that may or may not exist. Uh-huh. There's some question on that, honestly. I'd like to thank my outstanding appellate and original trial teams for their relentless hard work. I want to thank everyone who has supported me, and I turn my attention to the growing support I've felt and seen, seen publicly in the months since the trial and the efforts that have been made to show solidarity with my story. Any survivor knows that the ability to tell their story often feels like the only relief and I cannot find enough words to tell you the hope your belief in me inspires not just for me but all of you. Thank you. See you soon. Okay, lady, let's talk a little bit about... Wait, wait, wait. I hope we see you never. <laughs> please, please um, go sit on the snow and not freeze to death. Bye. Please, Bye. I, I would not miss you. I would really not cry. Not one I, I wouldn't miss you. First of all, she sounds like she's dumping the blame on everybody except herself. Did did we did we like walk up to her and be like, "Hey, lady, it'd be really funny if you shit in Johnny Depp's bed." No, we did not. I mean, she has no idea what she's gone through. And here's the thing with Johnny Depp: I feel so bad because he can never get this time back. No, he can't. He can never get it back. This is time that was wasted. It was stolen from him. Do you think? It was easy for an abuse victim to go face their abuser because that's exactly what she is and it has been proven in court. So I can actually say that to sit there and explain to the world, you know, like she said, I, Johnny Depp, am a man and a victim of abuse. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp, man, I'm, I'm a victim of abuse. Yes. And I, you know, it's a fair fight. And have people fighting over it. I mean, millions of YouTube videos and blah, 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 blah. Would you, would you find it easy to do that? No. I mean, I wouldn't either. I, I, I'll tell you as a quick story. So Rachel and I are both survivors. And I'm sure there's other survivors out there too. Hi, if you're a survivor, we see you, we hear you, we love you, we're here for you. And we have chosen never to, first of all, release who did it. That's the first thing we've never chosen to do. 
but I also wouldn't give my testimony all over the papers and be, go to like the newspaper and be like, blah, 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 blah. It's like, shut the fuck up. Nobody fucking cares. And we would be lying if we said in this journey that we haven't lost people because they're still ultra feminists. They still believe that men should not have rights but, and that women should have all the rights and that we don't need men. But men should have rights. And this is coming from women who are aces and lesbians and really care for guys. But you know what? A lot of our best friends are guys. I mean, if you guys listen to our intro and our outer row, it will tell you everything you need to know about our group of friends. Everything. That's very true. And I wish that more people had learned a lesson from this. I do too. I wish that Marilyn Manson's accusers had learned from this. I wish that Lindsay Boylan would learn from this. I wish that Boozy, Boozy or anybody else would, you know, learn from this. And at some point we will make a Boozy video when we can wrap our heads around what happened. Yeah, that's going to be a big one. And I log on to Twitter every single day or any social media platform and we still get hate messages saying, why do you hate women? You know, get your heads out of your asses. And Johnny Depp is guilty. Marilyn Manson is guilty. I mean, you saw the Women's March bullshit that went down where they literally went out and attacked them. They shouldn't even be making statements on something like that. They should be staying more neutral so that they're more inviting. And I mean, it's still a real divided issue. And that's the problem is that we've all decided that what we believe to be true is true. Like, you know, there's a movie called Touch of Satan and Jody says to Melissa, the two main, the, the two, um, main characters, he says, for me, that's true, but not for, for you, that's true, but not for me or something like that. Yes. Because everyone has decided that the truth is what they make of it. And yes, well, there are three sides to every story. Side A, side B, and somewhere in the middle lies the truth. Hmm. Do I think Johnny Depp is innocent in this? Probably not. Probably not completely. But not completely. What she said he did, I don't believe her. And we didn't make this channel sit here and bash her or Evan Rachel Wood and shit like that. I mean, it's going to happen sometimes because they're so obviously lying and they put themselves out there. But... Let's try to make her as irrelevant as possible now going forward. Let's move on to something else. Yes, like Marilyn Manson, you know, or, you know, Danny Masterson's upcoming retrial, if it happens, which I doubt. Which I'm not saying he's innocent. Uh, oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, but the people are going to have opinions on these cases. They just are. Yeah. People get, our, the world is too prone to think. When we say opinion, we mean facts. When we say facts, we mean opinions. Yes. That is so true. You know, and if I said, I like cookies, uh, that's an opinion, not a fact. If I said, cookies have, you know, sugar in them, that's probably a fact. See? But people get that confused, and I don't really understand why. Yeah. Let's well, see if we have a theory about something. It means, it's a theory. It doesn't mean it necessarily is proven or not. No, don't present theories as facts either. You know, if somebody, you know, like another example is trichafta. You know, the theory was is that it would help cure cystic fibrosis, but they didn't know that. In practice, it does work. Yes, that's a good example. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But you have to remember that we are all people with the same feelings, celebrities, regular workaday, regular, regular, regular people. So, um, Women, men, young, old, short, tall, fat, thin, you know, disabled or able-bodied. It doesn't matter. Well, and here's the thing, too, is that I'm still willing to be your friend if you think that Amber Heard is innocent and Johnny Depp did it. I'll still give you the time today. I'll talk to you. I'm not going to sit here and block you and yell at you. But, oh, man, you know. Those people who think that Amber Heard is just a sweet little darling girl who didn't do nothing wrong, they are out for blood. Mm -hmm. I get attacked almost daily and so does she. We have gotten some vicious messages from people we know. Mm -hmm. We're not going to share them with you guys. I understand we disagree. Well, first of all, we can't disagree on the facts. And it was proven in court. I, I don't understand where this is coming from. Especially the lawyers that disagree with us. No. Oh. That doesn't make any sense. No. And you know, I don't know that this is the end of the 
line for these two. I don't think it is. I think it's going to be like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Oh, they're definitely not done. Mm -mm. This is a intermission, folks. I think she's addicted to fighting with him. I do too. I think she's still in love with him. I do too. Fighting and violence become addictive. And people get confused because hate and love can feel similar sometimes because they release dopamine levels mm -hmm. and they like you become obsessed with the person mm -hmm. and I think some people get confused. I do too. If you guys have anything more that you want to um, say, please comment down below. And also remember that our policy is you can message us on any social media. We are going to end the video here. As always, thank you so much for listening. Give, click on that big thumbs up to indicate that you liked it. Smash that subscribe button down below. Oh my God, look at this channel. This is crazy. It is not something that we ever dreamed of. And this channel has brought us so much, so many wonderful things. Mostly to talk to all of you. Give that bell a big ring to indicate that you want to be updated whenever we go live or post videos on non-crazy weeks. We post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 11 a.m. Central, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We also sometimes go live on Sunday nights. Those are gone at least till the end of the year and we'll bring them back and you guys will see more familiar faces and we're going to totally restructure how we do lives. You may also see us live on other platforms throughout the week. As long as you know you're respectful and you tell us why you want to join us, you are free to join us. We also have a second channel that you guys really, 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 really want to um, stay close to because the Galifan is growing. And guys, we have some announcement to make in just a moment. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. What's good, bitches? Oh my god, I am here. the D Generation Motley Crew World Heavyweight Champion. I am the Gala Sisters brand manager, baby! We've been keeping this a surprise for how long? <laughs> wow. A long, long time. <laughs> also the podcast host, guys. Surprise, the podcast host is here with us. <laughs> Boom, bitch! <laughs> He's in our living room. <gasps> oh my god, that's so oh, new! No. Help! Help! <laughs> We've been invaded! <laughs> this is the new normal, guys. Surprise. And you're going to be seeing this for a long time. Surprise! Come. He's moving in with us very soon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and if you don't like it, show a cactus and die. From and your then... mama and wait. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be joining us on both podcasts. Damn right. He'll be joining us on Gab with the Gala Sisters, too. <laughs> that's right. We are so excited. We're so happy to have you here. We <laughs> and, love you so much. And I love you too. <laughs> love the both of you. <laughs> and as always, we will see you in the ring. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching these videos and having a good time. So, all of our channels, you're going to see all of us on. And that is the way it's going to be from now on. Yes, we said it was expanding, and we meant it. Damn right. <laughs> Welcome to the family, MCK. Thank you. It's, a great, it's great to be a part. Shit. It's great to be a part of the family, literally. <laughs> and as and <laughs> one of the Gala sisters has mentioned, I am going to be moving in permanently. And a lot of people out there might find that offensive. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> For the last seven years, I've said that on my channel. Go link, go check that out in the link description below. And also, if you want to use both of my codes, which both of my sisters are more than welcome to use, if you want to use discount code MotleyCrewKing at RedSports.com, you save well over 50% on everything store-wide, including what you might ask. Oh, I'm glad you did. Protein shakes, hydration boosters, testosterone boosters, and other shit like that. And also, for my favorite one, Phoenix King at ReaperPale.com, which focuses on mental health, which all three of us have very, very <laughs> bad mental health. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we got you. Mm, we got you. We've been planning this for months, and we've got Damn right, baby. we've got merch that we designed ourselves to. <laughs> and once um, we get the other podcast, and he's down, gonna let's... he's gonna help us design some new merch for you guys. <laughs> um, do you so talk about our podcast yet? So we have two podcasts, one that goes out every other Tuesday, entitled Gap with Gal Sisters, and of course, we have our second podcast. Mr. and Miss Crazy Wrestling Family, baby! And I'm the one and only host! <laughs> well, guys, 
We hope you enjoyed this video. We did not know how to break this to you, but mm -hmm. we feel safe and we feel happy and we hope that you guys are happy for us. <laughs> so, we'll talk to you again soon. Love and share. Bye! Bye! <laughs>